So in today's episode, we are going to experience why DC is one of the brunch capitals of the world. Stay tuned. The food. I'm trying to figure out how we film all these episodes and I still stay this skinny guy. Oh, hello. There we go. <laughs> Brunch in DC. You know, honestly, I don't think one episode can fully encompass the lifestyle. Yeah, it's a culture here. It's a vibe. It's a way of living almost. When you come to Washington, DC, you best find a place to eat brunch. We do it up. This is love and, and real estate. estate. Hi, my name is Amanda. My name is AD. And we run a local real estate company called the DAPA Group. Every week, we're going to take you into communities and experiences in D.C. and the surrounding areas. Just think of us as your personal real estate agents. Enjoy the show. Have you ever had a dream of opening your own restaurant? See, on today's brunch experience, we could have gone anywhere. Honestly, there are tons of places, and we'll get to that later in our channel. But we are gonna go to a special place called Eats Place. The cool thing about this really awesome venue is that this is for the restauranteur entrepreneur, the person who has that awesome recipe that you feel needs more people to know about it. So we're gonna go to an awesome restaurant. We're gonna highlight another chef. Her name is Chef Shalifa and we're gonna go through her brunch experience. The reason why I thought it would be really cool is because we're entrepreneurs too. Exactly. Yeah, so I thought it would be a really cool place to actually highlight a restaurant entrepreneur and enjoy their brunch experience. Come on, let's take a look. All right, we have some fresh mint done in our Shalifa sweet herb with some flaxseed granola mm. and grilled pineapple. Mm. Enjoy. Ladies first. Okay. I want the grilled pineapple. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You taste the sweet herb? The sweet herb, do you taste it? I do. That's not just a strawberry. That's the, There's something special happening on top of that. This is just fruit, by the way. This is just fruit. And it tastes like candy. I just want to... It's like it was dipped in tequila and salt and agave. I don't, it's so good. I'm going to taste this last pineapple mm -hmm. before you, you finish it up. Mmm. Right? So what you mean? It tastes like it's dipped in something. Mm. That is round one. Let's get the rest. Now, I don't know exactly where this is gonna go in the video, but I would be remiss if I, because it's DC, because we're talking about brunch, to not talk about the history of brunch. So, there's this guy. His name is Guy, by the way. Like real life? <laughs> no, for real, his name is Guy. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Got it. Anyway. All right. So Guy Berenger. So Guy Berenger, his perspective, he was, the, his thought was breakfast was too utilitarian. It was boring. And then he also thought that dinner was too formal. Yeah. He also happened to be a wordsmith. That was his profession. So that's like early day MCs, you know, ir 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 no, no, ir rapper. No. Okay. All right. I'm going to try, try harder. Keep my day job. Realtor. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So with that, he said that he wanted something, another meal that we could actually look forward to. Something where the sun was up that we could actually get dressed up and enjoy. Yeah. So he decided to take the word breakfast and lunch and bring it together. He also said, and I quote, tea should not be served. English accent. Let me try. Tea should not be served, but instead we should replace it with beer and whiskey. So, what I mean, you say is he just wanted to be a day drinker? Doesn't every Washingtonian? Duh. <laughs> and the next course has arrived. We have our grilled asparagus delight. Mm -hmm. As well as our signature dish, which are the famous breakfast potatoes. 
and then we soak yellow potatoes overnight in a seasoning blend that we do oh and everything is grilled. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna bite it. I'm gonna bite it. Here we go. Go first. Here we go. Here we go. Tell me what you think. All right, here we go. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry, I forgot y'all were here. That is good. It's salty. There's a sweet undertone in there. Then there's a bite of cilantro seed. It ends, it's at the very end. It's so good and it's soft. These potatoes like melt in your mouth. Wow. Mm. Oh my God. It's an aftertaste too. Right, and the lime mm -hmm. flavor of, did you say cilantro? That's my guess. That's cilantro. I usually don't think asparagus when I go to brunch, but that's what Guy Behringer wanted. You wanted lunch and brunch and one plate. Okay. First, it's still crunchy. Yes, I love that. A lot of times it's soggy and stringy. I do not like my asparagus soggy and mm -hmm, stringy. Mm -hmm. It's still crunchy. It's warm. Isn't that good? You have to taste it with the garlic. Mm hmm That's a real nice. All right, mm -hmm. now the famous mm -hmm. not so traditional shrimp and grits. I do this over a scampi with a grilled and brulee drunken tomatoes, mm -hmm. all right, with the roasted and smoked garlic. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. Enjoy. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have chocolate henny French toast. Henny. Henny French toast. Henny French toast. Yes. I, you know you're in DC when. <laughs> yeah. Henny, <possible>. Henny base. <laughs> Anything is possible. Thank you so much. All right. Eddie, it's over there so you can start. I okay. won't. I won't complain. <laughs> Ladies first. I'll let you start. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you got to get that grease. There we go. That oil. Let me act like I actually have some manners. <laughs> oh, wow. Am I the one that sometimes feel like you need to do a second bite? No. Oh my Get it, if it, that means it's dynamic. There's a lot going on in there. Yeah. Get some of the shrimp in there. There we go. Wow. Flavor's really rich. The tomato. Oh yeah. Scallions. Mm. <laughs> I That's love really it. Good. I love it. Let me what try. Slide it my way. There. All right. I saw how you ate that shell. I was like, he's impressive. I'm gonna get the shell off first of all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's something there. Okay, okay. Her grits still have that dryness and that lumpiness that we're looking for in grits. Like, you know how you have um, shrimp and grits and the grits are almost like a stew. They're really greasy. Hers still have that texture of grits. And then the shrimp. Okay, to be very honest with you, I'm not a shrimp girl, but I could eat a plate of this. Eddie will tell you, I don't, I don't really like shrimp, but the shrimp, and I think it's because sometimes the, the texture can be too dense for me, but I don't know what she did, but she made it soft and there's a snap at the end. It doesn't taste Cajun. It's, it's a different take on shrimp and grits. Now, if you excuse me, I would like to enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about brunch. It's like, it reminds you of a, a community time, a community. Family. Correct. And you're doing with, you know, family, friends, relatives. And, and the meal is long enough that you get to talk. Yeah. We get to put these things away. We turn them upside down. Yeah. We don't look at them. Yeah. And we talk. We just focus on each other. And the food. And the food. Mm. Don't say food. Food brings me to a happy place. You know what? I can cheers to that. Thank you.
All right, guys, so let's talk about what homes are selling for here in Georgia Avenue. Mm, I want to know. So when we're thinking about our average sold price as of May 2023, mm. we're around 792000 So we've seen some decrease actually since 2022. So this is a buying opportunity for you. Um, let's talk about the days of market. We've seen an increase as well. So that means that you can actually sit, sleep, and think on a house. You don't have to move right away. Huh? Um, but when we think about the types of homes that are in this neighborhood, you're gonna find a good amount of condos. And why? Because it's really dense, but it's also really close to a metro. So you don't need a car. And if you do want a car, you're gonna find a lot of street parking or a lot of parking pads. So what I'm hearing, babe, is that Georgia Avenue is becoming more affordable. It's definitely the most affordable it's been in the last couple of years, I would say. I love that. Yeah, especially since, uh, you know. Inflation. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we always say, you know, buying real estate is the best when you're ready. When you're ready. Okay. We have the Thai salmon bite. And this is fresh salmon Ooh. that we actually skinned and battered in our seasonings accompanied with our Shalifa's toasted mustard. Enjoy. Mm. Oh wow, super soft. It's like flaky. Look at that. Look, 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 look guys. Look. Right off. No, look, I can literally take my fork and just smash. <laughs> it's that soft. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Let me see. I haven't tasted anything that threw me off yet. Does that make sense? Like I have, you know how like sometimes like you'll have that one thing that's like, mm. Yeah, it's like a nice cohesion and balance. Yes, this is balanced. I taste the fish and not a bucket of seasoning on the fish. Mm -hmm. The food is speaking for itself. It's well balanced and it's crunchy and soft. The, the mustard has like a sweet and tartness to it as well at the end. Mm. Um, that really goes well with this fish. I've enjoyed it. So good. Uh, and we have French toast coming up next. Penny French toast. I'm gonna try not to get drunk. It's <laughs> <laughs> our famous Henny French toast. So we have it's drizzled in a rhubarb and strawberry shrub, topped off with some fresh mint and a blueberry waffle. Enjoy. Wow. This is my favorite part. Chocolate and honey together. This is my favorite part. Oh my gosh, I think I covered my microphone. I just hope you guys hear. <laughs> <laughs> she said you didn't need syrup. You're a syrup girl too. I am, but she she drowned this one. I'm gonna take this one. Okay. This one looks more drowned. Ooh. Oh wow. Just goes through. Look how soft so that is. Easily. It's soaked. Cuts through very nicely. Still warm. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. The funny part is you actually can taste the Hennessy. You can taste the cognac. You can. It's um chocolatey, whiskey, smoky, sweetie. Oh. It's all of those things happening all at once. This is so good. Look at this pull away, nice and spongy, airy and light. And then look at that, look at that. You can actually see the blueberries inside the waffle. Mm -hmm. My body feels amazing. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the food is not here anymore. <laughs> um, but what I love about it, like Amanda says, I don't feel sluggish. Um, I still feel like I can go about the Sunday. Um, we like to say the itis. I don't have the itis. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. I, I don't mm -hmm. have that. I don't um, have that. And it lets me know that the food is good. The food is rich. And it's good for me. It's good for so, you. It's been amazing. I feel like I can go for a fourth round. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, you know that part where I said I don't feel full? I lied. I do. I feel full. Um, so what happened is uh, after we filmed, we stopped filming and she kept bringing food out. Um, so instead of the French toast you saw on camera, I ate like six of those. <laughs> yeah, we had like another like three course after that. And another plate of shrimp and grits, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this was probably one of the best brunches we've had. I mean. Guy Behringer would be very, very proud. He would be. He was. Well, guys, until next time, my name is AD. 
And we're your favorite real estate professionals, Amanda and AD. And this has been Love and Real Estate. And until next time, bye.